Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast. In this video today I'm going to show you an application called Bodega. I'm not sure if you've ever seen this application but as you might know if you own an iPod or an iPhone or any other mobile devices a lot of them have app stores. Obviously iTunes was the first of the app store obviously on the iPhone and the iPod but we also see it on many other devices but on your PC or your, on your Mac there's not really an app store as such generally if you want to download software you've just got to search the web but what this application Bodega has um, done is tried basically is a app store for your Mac as you can see it's a really nice looking um, interface you can see the way the shutter opening up there to show you inside the application and it's got obviously it does look like a little shop which is really neat and basically it's an app store for your Mac and on the top you've got featured and this is where they feature all the main apps so new releases get featured here as you can see there's quite a few new releases to this app store or to bodega shopkeeper picks and all the shopkeepers favorite apps at the minute top three downloads so these are the most downloads what have been downloaded on the f which are free basically and you've got the top paid ones as well so as you can see it's really really organized really nice looking interface with the icons and that and if we click down onto the next part you've got the applications what are basically installed on your computer now this is not going to be all the applications in your application folder as you can see I've got loads here but what it is it's all the applications you've downloaded from Bodega or what Bodega has in their shop and obviously I haven't downloaded none of these from Bodega, most of these have come from the actual websites and so on. But it all tells you when there's a new update, so as you can see here, ADM, the version I've got is 1.3.8, but there's a newer version out. And I can just click it, and it'll start downloading. Once it's finished downloading, it'll, it'll change to install here, and click that, and it'll start installing it. So it's a good way to keep your apps updated. Like I said, it doesn't have all the applications what you'll probably have on your computer, but it has a lot of them. And Baldega's adding new apps all the time, so eventually, who knows, we might have every application on the Mac in Baldega. I'm not quite sure if that will be the case, but you never know. Below this, we've got categories where it, it organises things in categories. So, for example, if I just go on to email and chat, it'll give you all the email and chat applications in Baldega. As you can see, we've got Adium again, <coughs> and we've got loads of others. So I'm just going to click on Adium to just show you it. Adium's an instant messenger, by the way, if you're not sure what it is. And as you can see, it gives you a screenshot, average rating, obviously the icon, the name here, a little write-up of what the application's all about, what features it's got. And from here, I can just click download to download the application. Obviously, I've already got this app, so I'm not going to download it. Um, let's go to iPod and iTunes, let me on this yet, see what's on here. Loads of applications related to the iPod or to iTunes. So, you know, really neat little application. And um, there's a lot of app applications I have never seen before. So, this is what makes the application very good is you're going to get a lot of different applications you've perhaps never seen. So, it's a good way of discovering your applications. So, Go on to phone view. I've actually already got this application, but I'll just show you what it's like. Double click on it. And you see this application is £20. And if I wanted to buy it, I will click buy now. And it will link me off to the official website for this application where I can then obviously buy it. As you can see, it's took me to the shopping cart of the official official website of the application. Close it. Uh, it gives me obviously a review. I can write reviews. I can tell friends. I'm assuming that would be by email. Uh, click here. You got your reviews. You see, there's three. There's three reviews. Press reviews. Probably there's none at minute, but you get the idea. And a little write up of what the application is all about. It's a really great little way of discovering the new applications. Only complaint I'm having would have at the minute about the application is there's no way of sorting between paid applications and free applications so for example if we go down to video what 
for all, all these applications here, some of them will be paid, some of them will be um, free. But for me to know which is which, I have to actually click on them. And I would like a category where it shows you all the free applications, basically, and a category what shows you all the paid applications. For example, I know Hulu is a free application, so I'll click on that, and it look it's free. But if I just go back. And I go on, for example, FX Factory. I don't know if that's free or paid. And the way I know is by clicking on it and waiting. See, that's a free application as well. But obviously, I don't know without clicking on them. Obviously, up in the featured part, obviously, the, the feature, the top three ones, but that is only the top ones, so we haven't got that many applications here. So I'd like to separate the free ones to the paid ones on the one at sections, that would be great. Down here, we've got a search item. Where we can search for an app. Uh, so I don't know what we can search for. Let's search for Boxy. I don't know if Boxy's on here, but we'll try it. Nothing's come up, so I'm assuming I've either spelt it wrong or it's not on here. Before I finish, I'll just show you how to download another app. VLC player. Click on download, it's free app. It starts downloading, as you see the icon jumps into applications folder. And it will start downloading. Go down to the bottom, as you can see, here, it's downloading. So simple. Up here, Adium, what I started to download. If I just click install, well, it's complete now. Click install, and it will start installing it for me. Once it's finished installing, it'll be in your application folder. So as simple as that. So yeah, Bodega, I think it's a really neat little application, and it is free, which is brilliant. And it's just a good way of finding new applications. Um, like I said, there's not every application on the Mac. There's only a small amount at the minute. But as time goes on, I'm sure they'll be adding loads and loads more. And I definitely think it's a great way of just discovering new applications, as I've said. So you can get Bodega from appbodega.com. I will leave the link in the description to your right. And as I said earlier, it's a really neat little application. And at the minute, they've got 873 apps, but they're adding all the time. It's completely free, so definitely worth checking out. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Sorry it's run on a bit too long, but I just wanted to showcase the app best I could. Don't forget to check my channel, and please subscribe, and I'll see you later. Thanks.